What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. We've got some fun stuff going on. We got some new stuff. Oh yes, we did. First and foremost, we got the dually, baby. Oh, did we ever get the dually? Regular one's gonna cost you $62,000. You get two engines, you get the 5.7 which will go 67 miles per hour, has 270 horsepower, or you can get the 6.7 Turbo V8. 410 horsepower, 80 miles an hour, and that's gonna cost you an extra $4,800. Definitely worth it. I don't know anyone who's gonna get the small version. <laughs> Absolutely not. Change it any color you want, even bright pink rim color, any color you would like design, Either standard or USA window decal. Very interesting. Let's take a look at these. This right here is the 5.7, as you can see right there. 5.7 turbo diesel powered. Very, very cool. Let me hop in. It says dually on the back. I was really worried because the information I had on this did not show duels. So I'm glad we got that. And we got another version. We got the 6.7. That's right. It says right there, 6.7 turbo diesel powered. And there is your American flag, American Eagle, all that good stuff. I can see this causing some issues around the rest of the world, but you know what? This is an American truck. So will it work with the fifth wheel hitch? Also, if you hear any thunder, it is currently like 3.15 in the morning for me and it is thundering and lightning the hurricane is well it's not here yet but oh it's about to get nasty it's already thundering and lightning so bam yes it will and yes it will tailgate works just like it normally would this time i decided to leave the controls menu up so that you guys could check it out see how everything goes this will go 80 miles an hour and it takes off now it sounds like any other tractor i will say that doesn't make me too crazy excited about it but it does i mean it takes off you can see the speed right there 80 miles an hour there it is let's uh let's try and crash it well that didn't work too well did it <laughs> let's hop over here up next we have the auto sand trailers now i thought this was auto scan i said it completely wrong auto sand let's take a look at these so we have two trailers and one basically is a low one's a high as you can see here one's low and then the other one's got walls on it smaller one will hold 4700 liters the larger one will hold 79,000 liters they both have the same customization main colors you go through black gray silver gray red and wow that's red <laughs> wheel setups you go standard or street tires rim color you've got gray meh green okay green peach or salmon red wow red super black and gray again <laughs> design you can go standard or no decals design color you can change the design color as well and design, you go flat walls or wavy walls. So what I've done, let's have gone through each one. So here is wavy. Here is straight walls, standard, with decal, no decal. Same over here, decal, flat walls, no decal, wavy walls. Here are the regular tires, and here are the road tires. I believe that's the customization anyway we'll set up standard street okay so these are standard and these are street cool now we've got some trailers now it's really cool these actually have crossbars or not crossbars straps you can strap stuff in strap stuff on all wow i don't know what happened there but there it is i didn't it's not a uh, not a thing i could kick oh but i can stand on it uh, yeah, these are super light, by the way. I found that out the hard way, just moving them around. Let's check these out. These are the one axle trailers. So we're going to find these in tippers. 
And we're gonna go all the way down here. There's three different ones. We have a regular, which will hold anything. We have one that holds water, and we have another version that holds gasoline, holds fuel. So, wheel setup should go standard or street tires on all of these. Let's see if we can walk all over them, check them out. Here are your standard tires. And here are your street tires, much thinner, about the same size, just much thinner. And then here we have the water and the fuel. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can bump around. So here's the one with fuel. <laughs> Keeps trying, it's not letting me fuel up the trailer because it's trying to fuel up the tractor which I think is funny. Let's see if we can get to a refill tipper. There we go. Had to get the tractor out of the, <laughs> the pickup area. So that may be an issue because I can't change back and forth between the tractor and the trailer. That's a problem, but easily fixable. Just get outside the area. There we go. And now we're full of gasoline full of fuel say gasoline everybody's gonna say it's diesel dj and i'm stuck goody <laughs> here is the water one pretty simple same thing pull it under here and hit your left trigger button in trigger button <laughs> that left stick in there you go it's filling up very cool now let's move around here is our Next thing, we have the Art Mechanic LS35. This transports animals, very simply, and it is a three-point hitch. Not three-point hitch, no, it is a, uh, ooh, goodness gracious. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but it just thundered and lightning hard. So this is from Vanquish081. Here we go, got it, and lift it up. Now this has got a very interesting design. Look on right below the miles per hour. Normally you would see this as a trailer. Well, this is not like a trailer. This is like some flat thing. Uh, I imagine them having to come out with an update to fix that. But nonetheless, it says it holds 15 sheep, 13 pigs, and seven cows. Well, we're gonna test that. Pigs, 13 pigs, okay. Sheep, 15 sheep, yep. And cows, seven cows. It is correct, imagine that. <laughs> we also have a couple placeables as well. Let's go check those out right now. We're gonna drive up. Our first placeable is, well, if we can get on the road here. First placeable is pretty simple. It's just a shed, wow. That bounces a little more than I would feel like it should. Uh, it's just a shed. That is it. Nothing too crazy. Just a shed. And I believe that is called the vehicle shelter. Let's take a look at it in the placeables. Vehicle shelter. Vehicle shelter. Vehicle shelter. There it is. 19 grand. Click it and place it. Pretty simple. Next is the depot shed. Let's hop out of here. Let's go all the way down here. Now this thing has got some size to it. And the doors are automatic, which is super nice. You just go through, click it, and boom, they open. This has fixed the problem of trying to figure doors out. And also it has its own base. Unlike a lot of buildings that we get in game that have doors on them at least, this has its own base, which is fantastic. You should be able to fit some pretty good sized tractors in here. And I think we're gonna give that a try. Let's see if we can fit 747 with standards on it. Can we fit that in there? I don't know, let's find out. This is the largest thing I can think of in the game. Hmm. Will it fit? 
We also got another placeable, it's called the Drying Pro Lift. Now, the Drying Pro Lift is interesting. It is a sell point, but it does not tell you. And you know, some sell points you put them in and it shows up and you know what it is. You know, it tells you, hey, if you sell this here, it's gonna give you this amount of money. Well, not with this for some odd reason. We'll, we'll get into that in a second. I will express my, my distaste and irritability towards that mod, but okay. It looks like you can fit it just barely, but you can. Pretty neat. All right. So here is the drying pro lift. Now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of testing and I'm gonna do that testing with you guys in here. What this is, online anyway, it just says grain dryer by pro lift inside the building, you can sell grain. It costs 26,500 to place. Let's see if we can go in place, we'll check that out. And it is $5 per day. Should be down here somewhere should be up here somewhere <laughs> there it is yep so it only says you could do wheat barley corn and straw so we're gonna put that to the test we're gonna go grab some wheat barley and corn and we're gonna see if we can sell it we have three trailers wheat barley and corn I do not have straw I do not have access to straw kind of irritates me so we may be doing some uh, remodeling of this map and get some straw and everything. I do have bells down there. I guess I could put them in a shredder. All right. We're going to sell each of these and we are going to see. Ooh, wow. I don't know if that tractor is going to fit in here or not. First one. Uh, let's see. Oh, collisions turned off. Yeah, there we go. First one is the wheat. Gonna sell that see how much money we get we're gonna do a little bit of math and see if it is very similar to what we would have gotten 7304 okay 7304 divided by 8.5 that is is that right 859 dollars okay wheat selling for a lot more than that <laughs> a lot more than that so that's not very good next one is barley uh oh I don't know what happened there but it did not sell all the way oh and corn is selling okay <clears throat> corn what the heck man all right corn sold for don't even know <laughs> it didn't even tell me. Uh, what did the corn sell for? I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Oh, goodness. So, wait. Did those last ones not even sell? Very interesting. Let's see what happens if I pull up next to this. Because it says it's a dryer. So you would expect there to be some type of drying mechanism not just a ceiling but seems like this is just a sell point that is it okay well uh, as to not waste any more of your time it looks like that is going to be it right there i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you've not already please subscribe if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section if you have any ideas about what you want me to do with any of this new stuff let me know down in the comment section it's a weird time to release a video, but hey, we're going to do it. I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.